Hey guys, Phil Protocol here, and welcome to a Redstone tutorial video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a selector array. It is one wide, tileable, and silent. So for those of you who don't know what a selector array is, is if you press one button, it gives a certain output. Press another button, it resets all the other outputs which, in other words, turn all the other outputs off and then give off its own output. And then sometimes they would have a reset button, which means they would turn off all of the outputs. So to build one of these select arrays, I'll put the materials somewhere on the screen. Anyways, to build this, you would need to place a block, then a button on the block, a redstone lamp on the same block, Facing in, and then the block should be facing to a dust and repeater facing this way on four tape delay. Then the repeater should be facing a block with redstone torch and a dust on top. Then below the torch, you want to place a block, place two blocks like this, destroy the first one, then make a redstone repeater. I mean, put a place a redstone repeater. Then the repeater should be facing a block with dust on it. Then place a block on top of the repeater, and then place a torch on the side of the block, like this. And this should be the first RS Nora launch. And to make it tileable, you need to change the second one a little bit. So, you want the same layout. So you want to place a button, a block, a lamp, then two blocks here. But now, this time you want to place a repeater over here, four take delay again, facing into a dust, and the dust should be powering that block underneath it. Now on the block underneath it, place a torch. Underneath the torch, you construct the other part of the RS Norwatch, this section of the RS Norwatch again. So, a repeater facing into a block with dust on it, and then block on the repeater, then you want to place a torch, like that. And to make it tileable, you want it to alternate between the first design and the second design. The next thing you want to do is construct a reset button. And to do so, you want to place a block, two blocks below the Arsenal Arch input block. And then you want to place dust on top of them. Finally, you place a block next to it. Dust on top of that. Block on top of the dust. And a button on the block. Then behind the block with the redstone dust, oops, you want to place a torch there. Then the torch should lead into a dust like that. You want to place four blocks like this. Now you'll want to place redstone dust on every single one of these blocks. Build one block up and one block up again. And place dust on the second to last, but not the last one, because it is unnecessary. You also want to place a torch on the last one, like so. Place two blocks next to the second to last block. And then place one block facing like this, with the RS no latch that's shorter than the other one. Now you want to place repeaters, block here, and a dust here. Now to make it tileable, you want to continue with this design. You alternate between dust repeater to dust repeater block. The next step is to hook up the Arsenal Latch with the lamp. So, in order to do so, you need to place 
For the first, the longer artist relax, you want to place two blocks like this. Then you want to place a dust, clip here, and finally a block. For the shorter one, you want to place a two blocks like this, then two blocks like this. Now I'm going to place dust on the first two blocks, then you want to switch to repeater, and finally a dust. Finally, you want to make an output block, and to do so, you want to place a torch on top of this, a block here, and a block to the side. And that's it. And there you have it. Here is your one wide RS Latch. And it is infinitely countable. Of course, you do have to alternate the designs because sometimes the redstone dust may conflict with the other one. But as you can see, it works. You press this, this outputs on, and the lamps on. Press this button, this gets reset or turned off. And then this one turns on. And the reset button works. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And leave a rating and comment. Tell me whether you hated it and why you hated it or if you liked it. So I know the audio quality isn't the greatest either. And I just got a text. Whoops. That's very professional. Anyways, so... I know the audio quality isn't the greatest because I'm recording from a webcam, not exactly a microphone. And I am looking for a microphone, still. Anyways, enough of me rambling. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.